Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So, we, in this one, we're going to be learning how to make a live wire component and render it. Now, there's two types of components that we can make. We can make a normal component and we can make an inline component. Now, if you're used to making components with Laravel, this will not be much different. I will show you. All right? The normal component, it actually, I'm just, it's just my term, but what we a normal component does it will basically create a class and it will create a view now inline component will just create a class but in the render method it will actually render the the div the view or whatever element you need inside that component all right but i will show you that in a second but so how are we going to create a component but before i do that i just want to migrate my database and do a PHP artisan serve so that we can actually view the website. All right, so let's do that. So let's open up our terminal. And I'm just going to do a PHP artisan migrate. You can do the migrate. Since I already migrate, I just wanted to show it to you. All right, just make sure that you set up your database as well. In this case, I just named my database LifeWire and I leave it the username as root. Okay. Since I already done it, I'm just going to do a fresh one for you guys. All right. So that's all done. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is inside here, I'm just going to do a PHP artisan serve. Okay. So what this will do is it create a, like a PHP server for us in order to view our website. All right. So I'm going to go to this website quickly. All right, so that you can see we got our Laravel installation. You can see we got our JetStream authentication. That's already scaffolding is in there. So now we've got our login and we've got our register all set up. So this is the template, the welcome template that we will use just to kind of display our components for learning purposes. All right, so let's go and edit this view right here. All right, so we go to resources, views, and you will see we have a welcome right there. So you go to your welcome one and you delete everything in the inside right here. We delete all of it because we're not going to need anything else. We just need that main div. All right, so you, we will have your main div that encapsulates everything. And then you will have your login and your register right there. And that div just underneath it. We're just going to keep that one right there. I'm just going to put in here between the two tags, just LifeWire, like that, just to see if we can view the page correctly. If I refresh, you will see we got our LifeWire being displayed right there. All good. Right, so we know it's working. All right, so let's get back to the part where we're actually here for learning how to make components so i'm just going to close my welcome view for now we're going to get back to this in a second All right so let's open our terminal okay and i'm going to let my server be run on this one i'm just going to create a new terminal with the plus icon right this one right here now we're going to create two components i want to create a live wire component and i want to create a blade component and i want to show you that they more or less the same Okay, just for learning purposes, All right? And we're gonna get to the LifeWire magic, but I want you to know where it comes from, all right? So let's quickly create two components. The first one is PHP Artisan Make. We're gonna do a LifeWire component, and we're gonna call this one Delete Button. All right, so we're expecting it to create a class and a view because we're creating a normal component and not an inline component. Okay, so press enter. As you can see, it created the class for us and it created the view. All right. And I would recommend everyone, if you create your LifeWire components, please go and install the repo. It's a wonderful service and a wonderful product. Yes. Okay. So in this case, I already started. So I'm going to say no. All right. Then I'm going to clear this one. Let me leave it for learning purposes. The next one, I'm just going to create PHP artisan make and i'm just going to call it component and then this one is, i'm just going to call the component delete button as well okay so i'm going to press enter all right so now we've got a component a laravel blade component and we've got a live wire component all right 
as a reason for the madness. Right, let me minimize this. And let's go to app HTTP LifeWire. You will see we got our component right here. So under app HTTP LifeWire. This is where your class will be stored under HTTP LifeWire right here. Now, as you can see, we got our button rendered view right here. Now, let me click leave this open right here. Let's go to our view right here. This is where our components get stored. Now you will see I'm opening the delete button of our components right here. Now, as you can see right here, it's got a construct method, but I will get to the construct method of LifeWire. It used a different method to do the construct. Don't worry about that now. So I'm just going to delete this part right here. Let me just delete this. Now, if we look at the set, look at the next to each other, you will see they look identical. Both use the rendered view to actually render a view. All right. Nothing different right there. So this is basically if you used to making Blade components, you're going to feel quite comfortable actually making a LiveWire component. So the syntax are exactly the same. How must you think of a live wire component? You have to kind of think it of as a controller and a blade component at the same time. All right. That's kind of if you have to imagine what, how do you have to see it? All right. So the same syntax that you would have used in your blade component, you can use in here. And most of your methods that you used in your controllers, you can use here as well. But there's special com methods that comes with LiveWire to make your job a lot easier. All right, now the thing is, that's how we can make a normal component. But let's say you want to make a component where instead of the delete button be one thing, you wanted to actually go into a folder. We can do that as well. So let's open up our terminal again. And I'm going to delete this component quickly. All right, and I'm going to make a component that's inside the folder. I'm still going to make the delete button one, but I want the, the uh, component, the folder to be buttons. And inside that folder, I want to delete. All right, so let me do that. So I'm going to clear this and I'm going to do PHP artisan make live wire. And I'm going to create a folder for buttons. Now, in order to do this, you can use the forward slash like this and delete, right? And that will create a folder. And inside that folder, it's going to create a class delete. You can use that syntax, or you can use the forward slash syntax, delete, or you can use the dot notation syntax, like that. All right, the most comfortable one for me are the forward slash like that, or the backslash like this, or the forward slash like this one. All right, and I'm using this one mostly. All right, so I'm just going to press enter. Now, as you can see, we got our live wire component created, and now let's go there quickly. Now, as you can see, we got a folder now, we got a button folder, and inside that button, we got our delete right here. Okay. This could have been buttons, but in our case, I'm just going to call it button for now. All right. So now we got a, a rendered view. Now, what happens now is in order for the views to be shown, we actually go to resources, views, you will see LiveWire, and you will see it created a folder in the view also. So it just doesn't do it for the class itself. It actually does it for the view as well. Quite nice. All right. So now this is where our component is in our view right here. So let me render something. Uh, this, let's just call this one just a button. And I'm just going to call it delete. All right. So now we got a view right there. And inside our component, it's the live wire button delete right here. We, we are actually rendering this delete button right there. Okay. So that's how we create a normal component. But I want to show you how to create an inline component.
Okay, so we're going to get to the render part quickly, but let me just show you how to make an inline component. So open up your terminal, we do a PHP artisan make live wire. Now I'm going to create a button. Again, I'm going to go into that folder and I'm just going to use the backslash to show you that it works. And this one I'm going to call um, save. As an example, all right? But now here comes the different part. You just add dash dash in line like this. And then you press enter. All right. Now, as you can see, it only creates the class. It doesn't, with the normal one, it will create a class and it will create a view. But with the inline component, it will actually just create the class. All right. So let's quickly go to our button class right there. Right, so let me close our terminal. We go to app HTTP LiveWire. You will see now in our folder right there, we've got a delete button and we've got a save button. So let's quickly open up our save button. Now, as you can see right here, the view right here, the render method actually returns a blade component that actually between a diff right here. Now, inside here, we can actually now let's do a button. All right, so we've got our button right there. Now I'm just going to return this one and just say save like this. All right, so now we created the inline button that actually renders the view from the component itself. All right, awesome. Now the next part would be how do we render this view in our page? Okay, so let me close the close the components and actually let's go to our welcome page right here okay now there's two ways we can use the add symbol live wire like this okay we can use that syntax but i don't like to use this syntax i like to use the tag syntax okay so i'm going to use the live wire and as you can see i'm going to use the delete button to render right here okay okay so we got that done let me just let me just put a comment up here delete button all right and the next one that we want to render this is the save button but for now let's see if we actually render our del delete button all right i need to make it a little bit bigger for you guys so as you can see we got our delete button right there Right, so the next part to see is if we our inline component is actually rendering as well. So let's do that. All right, so what I'm going to do, let me just do this, and it's going to be live wire, and then we can just put the save button right there. I like to put the closing tag right there. There's you don't have to, but the reason for me is for my editor to do its own styling quite differently. And I just added there just to so that the editor knows that like, listen, this is just the it closes there. All right. So let's see if it renders that view. Now, as you can see, it actually returns that button right there as well. Okay, quite neat and awesome. All right, so that's it for this one. So that's how we can learn how to make components in a live wire, inline components, and normal components. In my case, that's how I call it. It's not the official language calling it normal components, but just the, that's just how I would like to call it. All right. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. So if you like the video, please give it a like. If you don't, please give it a dislike and any suggestions or feedback is highly appreciated. Thank you guys and adios.